with his own mouth. Matthew chapter 12, verse 30, 39, and 40. Now I want you to explain that. That the sign he gave, what? That Isaiah, so and so. Mm -hmm, nothing at all. He said, this is the only miracle I'm giving you to the Jews. That what happened to him is going to happen to me. Did that happen? That's all. Did that happen? In a court of law, if a man had made certain utterances, I said, this is the promise he made. Did he fulfill it? Again and again, he's failing according to your explanation. When I say yours, I mean the Christian explanation. He is failing again and again. So as a Jew, if I was the Jew, I read your book, I said the man was an imposter and he deserved to die. He, if he had escaped death by the skin of his teeth, I said if we can catch him again, we will crucify him a second time. If I was a Jew. According to his own words, he is failing again and again. You justify that or you get your bishop, your Greek bishop. Tell him, if he knows English, he said, look, this man is prepared to come over all the way at his own expense from South Africa to have a dialogue in an open field where we can get 50,000 people. Hmm? And present your case, man. The thousands of Muslims will come and listen to your arguments. And of course, thousands of Christians will also listen to our arguments. So I want to do that, if you can. Get one of your Greek bishops, you know, because I can see the English-speaking bishops are, 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 are shivering. They are jittery. Maybe the Greek, the Greek, you know, the ancient Greece, Greek, he might be bolder. Try, try and get some Greek, Greek bishop. Okay? Okay, nice. It's just, it's just. 300 were fulfilled, I agree. I said the whale that got away, what have you to say to that? That you allow this whale, whale, whale fish to get away out of your net. You are a very unfortunate creature, man. Huh? You, you're going to catch little fish. When you're the whale, you'll have such a big thing to get away from your hands. That's what happened. This is what, according to your scripture, Jesus failed again and again to support you. He's not supporting you. He's supporting me. Right. There'll be last two questions. No, finish now. Last two questions. This lady here and one more from this side, if there is. Only last two questions. You must appreciate that this is an old machine, 78 year old, you know, and I have come across, you know, those time barriers, you know, please, you know, have a little mercy on me. Not I'm trying to run away, mm -hmm. but this, after all, the body, there's a limit to what it can take. Last two questions, this lady here and one more. Thank you, my sister, please. I thank you that I have the privilege to be here tonight to listen to you. I haven't read the Quran. You stimulated me. Perhaps I should read the Quran. But I would like to know what you believe with the ascension of Jesus. Do you believe that he actually lived? So then what happened to Jesus if he lived, if he did not die, if he lived? No. The Quranic ayah, the verse that I read to you, the last expression I said was Bal Rafahullahu ilayh But Allah took him up to himself We Muslims believe that God Almighty took him up Saved him from that ignoble death and nakedness of the cross Because the people on the cross were absolutely naked They didn't respect you to put a little loincloth around the man The messenger of God You say the son of God Naked and bare before the world You know flies buzzing around him said, no, no, no. God Almighty didn't allow that to happen to his servant his messenger, Jesus, God saved him and took him up. And I say, he's coming back to just you. He is coming back. To do what? You know, we Muslims, we believe and we claim that Islam is the culmination, the fulfillment of all of God's revelation to man. All true guidance, all guidance is given to us. We don't have to learn anything new from Jesus or Moses or Muhammad anymore. Whatever God wanted to give, He's given it to us. So what is Jesus coming to do? I says, no, He's coming along to rectify you. And He's telling you in the Gospel of St. Matthew, He says, many will say to me on that day, in His second coming, on His return, and many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name do many mighty works? They're going to ask Jesus, didn't we do all these things? We build hospitals, you know, orphanages, and we looked after, after the aborigines, and we looked after the Maoris, uh -huh, and we looked after the Indians. Oh, yes, yes, all these things you did. 
Right? We educated all these fools, you know. We civilized them, we culture them. So, 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 we did all the things. So did we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name do many mighty works? What does Jesus say to that? He said, I never knew you. Depart from me, foot sack, get away, you rubbish, get away. He said, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You are evil doers, you are evil mongers. Amazing. You who are working in the name of Christ, looking after the lepers, looking after orphans, Mother Teresa, wonderful work she's doing. By God, I tell you. You know, I, I bow my head down out of respect for her. All the wonderful things you people are doing. The way you look after the animals. You know, animal conservation to preserve life. Whew, fantastic things you are doing. But for human beings as well. What what you are doing. And that's what you're going to say to Jesus. Didn't we do all these things for you in your name? And he's going to tell you, foot sack. Foot sack. I don't know this is this Afrikaans word. It means get away. Get away, you rubbish. Like you did to a duck. Shish, shish, shish. He's going to do that to you. Why would he do that to you? When you did all these things for Jesus. Come, come. I am asking the Christians, he's not going to tell the Jews foot sack. He's going to tell the, not going to tell the Muslims foot sack. He's going to tell the Hindus foot sack. He's going to tell you. Why would he tell you foot sack? Get away, you rubbish. I don't know you. I'm asking the Christians. Answer me. You know why? You know why? Because you call him Lord. He's not your Lord. He's not your God. That's the reason. That is the reason. You make him into a God. That's the reason you did all this. You bloody rubbish. I don't know you. Get away. You're not mine. You don't belong to me. Not to the Muslims. Not to the Hindus. Not to the atheists. But to the Christians. To the Christians. And those who are claiming to be his followers. He's going to tell you, get away, rubbish, get away. I don't know. Because you have made him into a Lord God. When he told you to worship the Father in heaven. He's telling you, come, come, come. I'll teach you how to pray. And pray like this. And he puts the words in your mouth. Like a little baby, like a little child, pray like this. Oh, our Father, which are in which are in in this is the Father. This one is the Father. Okay. Oh, Father in heaven, I will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Where did he say the Father of Jesus Christ in heaven? Oh, Jesus Christ, my Lord in heaven. Where? He said, this is how you pray, but you have forgotten that you are worshiping Him instead of worshiping the Father. Therefore, he says, fat sack, get away. I don't even know you. Uh, did you say, the lady, the lady, did you say you got the Quran? You have a Quran? 